Hi, and welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of Twilight Struggle Red Sea Conflict in the Horn of Africa. This is designed by Jason Matthews from GMT Games. This is a uh, zoomed in uh, uh, expansion standalone game that can be mixed with Twilight Struggle. It focuses on a specific uh, area in the uh, uh, 1974, uh, around the Horn of Africa, obviously, as it says, um, and dealing specifically with that area is a very small game. It does play solo uh, as part of the DMT1 uh, initiative. They have created a solo AI for this one. So uh, let's crack it open, see what you get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. All right, here we go. It's a much smaller box. It's kind of about the size of you've seen uh, GMT's uh, red flag over Paris. It's about that size. It's, uh, well, let's compare it to say a next war Poland here, which is much bigger. I mean, that's a standard GMT dimension. So you see it's definitely a little bit smaller, so. Starting out, we have the Twilight Struggle Red Sea Conflict in the Horn of Africa rulebook. This is a 16 page rulebook, full color, on the glossy, instead of the, the better matte finish GMT um, paper stock. This is on the more glossy magazine stock. Goes through the usual GMT outline, defining the components, and then set up game sequence and then guiding you through the, through the game. If you've played uh, Twilight Struggle, obviously you're familiar with the system. Um, there's probably some tweaks to this for the specific game, but uh, for the most part, you can probably just jump right in pretty easily. Um, it does include the Space Race and a much smaller track in the DEF CON track. So there's your rule book. And there's some optional variants. There's tournament play. And uh, then you can add the Twilight Struggle Red Sea cards to the original game. After setup, the US player chooses cards first, then reveals the chosen cards to the Soviet player. Soviet player then chooses and reveals their cards to the US. All chosen cards are shuffled into the corresponding, shuffled, shuffled into the corresponding mid-war or late war decks. And there's the uh, different cards that are involved. So it's very quick playing shorter game. Now we've got the solo rules and background booklet. Now this is pretty interesting. The rule book is 16 pages. The solo rule book is 28 pages. Again on the glossy stock, full color, uh, two player example of play. So we start out with that. Oh, solo rules and background booklet. So uh, you got a two player sample of play and then the solo opponent rules. Uh, actually the solo rules are only about four four pages long. And then the solo opponent example of play uh, starts at 12 and then you've got the background on the card. So it's really not a 28 page solo rule book. It's just solo so big, you know, solo. But the solo rules are only about four pages. Let's see, pages eight to 12. So take a look at that. It's kind of interesting because at the, at the header, it does say it is the solo rule book, but it's, that's not what this whole book is about. So, so rules start on page eight, go to page 12. So inclusive, I guess it would be five pages. Solo opponent player aids to direct the solo opponent's play. I wonder if they're working on a solo opponent for Twilight Struggle using the same concept or that's doable and in the works, who knows? All right, and then we have a, the card play summary. Got GMT's wonderful coded card stock uh, card play summary, one for each player. Player eight card, and then the opposite shows the victory conditions and uh, the turns. And a standard game is only two turns. Each turn is four years, and the player makes seven normal card plays. So it's a very quick play and little game. And the full solo AI is very exciting. And then we've got the events reference card. This is the US playable events table. 
and the USSR playable at this table. And then the neutrals. And then we have the, let's see, this is our, is this our solo card? Yeah, the USSR action round priorities for solo. And this is a double fold card. Stock USSR action round priorities for solo. If the solo bot is playing Soviet Union. The USSR space selection table. And then the bot can play the US and what they're gonna do for action round and their space selection table. So you can actually, and unlike some other games where you have to play the AI as one side, here you can you can be the Ruskies if you want to. And once you do have counters, these are the pre-rounded, uh, uh, you know, GMT counters kind of similar to what you already saw in Twilight Struggle uh, for your control points and things like that. You got the Soviet points and the US points. Uh, and then some turns, DEF CON status tracker, uh, and then some reminders that certain events have come into play. Uh, several famine, one, two, three, four, five, six famine markers. Right. One sheet of counters. And then we've got our board. And it's a very small board. It's as, as small as the box is, it's four panels. And we'll just take a look at that real quick. See the whole board. And the little amount of space it actually just takes up on your game table. So we have space race track. You have just very few countries that you're working with in areas. And then the victory point track, the required military operations, your coup attempt reminders. Now this is cool. This is nice to have this here since they had the space. They, so the board is really small and then you've got this extra, uh, you know, player helps right here that reminds you of how to go through the, the coup attempt process, the influence markers, the realignment roles, etc. And here your turn record track, mid war, late war, and an optional extended turn. So it looks like we got Ford, Brezhnev, and Jimmy Carter optional. And uh, do pray for Jimmy Carter right now. He's uh, not doing well, and we wish him a recovery if, if the Lord wills it. But uh, but uh, he's done a lot of good things in his life. So um, cool. So there's the board, and then we've got two dice. These are these are some pretty big dice. These look a little bit bigger than the, I'm remembering the ones from Twilight Struggle, but maybe I'm misremembering. We have a red and a blue, of course. And let's see, we got the, we got the uh, star and the hammer and sickle. So let's see if they work. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? What's the six? The six is the uh, country. Oh, Soviet Union won five to two. Didn't even go into extra innings. And then we've got our deck of cards. Take a look at a few of these. These are all your different event cards that you're gonna draw and play. So a good, good GMT quality, really thick, but you probably wanna sleeve them anyway just for shuffling purposes. So they're RS1 through RS51. So you can, like, like I said before, you can mix it into the base Twilight Struggle game and add a little flavor and you can always find your cards again. So Somalia invades Ethiopia. Roll a die and subtract one for every USSR controlled country adjacent to Ethiopia. On a modified roll of five to six, the US receives two victory points and it replaces all USSR influence. So a lot of similar flavor of Twilight Struggle, the big brother game. So there's 51 cards. Very cool. And the solo AI is all just, there's no, there's no card flipping. It's just follow the logic. All right, so if you pick up a copy of Twilight Struggle, Red Sea Conflict in the Horn of Africa, you're gonna get those 51 event cards we just looked at. You're gonna get two, count them, two dice. Oh, Soviet Union wins again. You're gonna get that board, that very small, very functional board that we looked at. One sheet of markers. The solo, 
I don't even call it flowchart, but kind of priorities logic sheet, and it plays both sides. The playable events card for the US and the Soviet Union. The player aid card, the card play summary, and the turn summary. One for each player, if you're not playing solo. The 28 page solo rules and background booklet. It's mostly background with four pages of solo rules for five. And the very small 16 page rule book. And that is everything that comes in Twilight Struggle Red Sea Conflict in the Horn of Africa from GMT Games, designed by Jason Matthews. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh!